Hello, this is editing me. I just realized that I didn't film an intro, so, um, yeah. But what I'm gonna be doing today is showing you how to make a, um, water filter if you're, like, stranded outside and you need water. Or you can just try this if you want to. It's pretty fun to make. And you don't need any activated charcoal or anything, like, complicated like that to make this. It's very simple and easy, and you should be ma able to make it anywhere that you are outside. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and let's get started. So, if you're stranded in the wild, then most people know that your top priority is water, food, and shelter. So, in order to get water, everyone's like, okay, well, I need a filter, but you might not always have the necessary materials like charcoal to make a filter. Thankfully, to our big pollution problem, you can just hop, pop in the woods and you'll probably find a bottle just like this out somewhere stuck in the trees. So we're going to be making a DIY filter that doesn't use any charcoal. It's super easy to make and it is effective, but um, just a warning, after you use this, it's still not completely clean, so you'll still have to boil it, but this will get the large chunks of like mud and any, like even smaller things too, to make it less harmful. But just as a safety precaution, you should always boil your water before you drink it anyways, even if you do use a filter. Also, with this filter, you do not need the cap for the bottle, which is awesome because it's very hard to find um, the cap like in the same place as the bottle. So for this, all you'll be needing is the bottle itself, not the cap. It also doesn't matter what size your bottle is. We're using like this square-ish shaped one from like orange juice, I think. But you can use like a regular like disposable water bottle or a two liter pop bottle or anything. But for this, um, cans won't work. It has to be some sort of like plastic disposable bottle. Okay, we just finished cutting them. As you can see, the edges are pretty rough and not even, but it doesn't matter. And also just be careful when you pick them up by the edges, because it is quite sharp, like even just touching it, you can feel it's a bit sharp, but it doesn't matter as long as you're careful with it. So now what you want to do is take the top that has like the opening and stack it in there and make sure it fits in like that. You can see ours fits just like that. And yeah. Okay, so for this, uh, filter. We said you're not gonna need any charcoal, but what you are gonna need in terms of like rocks and like earth materials is um, some fine sand. So we actually have this stuff. It's like really really fine. It's like gray textured. It's in these bags, but it's frozen into the ice. So <laughs> um, we're gonna have to dig that out, and I'll do that in a minute. And then we've also got, and then you need regular sand, which is underneath all this dirt and stuff. Okay, so we've got the uh, fine sand in here, and um, I've got it in this old pot. Uh, we did actually find this pot outside because we're sticking to the plan that you have to find like the materials outside and stuff. If you, you obviously don't have to use a frying pan because you don't have to cook it. We just used that because that was the only container we had available. So yeah, we're just this is our fine sand here. It's pretty fine. Okay, so for our um, tiny rocks. Uh, half of our driveway is paved with gravel, so this part back here is like a little bit finer gravel, as you can tell like, from these ones, little ones here. So that's what we're gonna be using for our uh, like fine rocks, and then out there the rocks are a bit bigger. I don't know why, but that's just what they are. So we'll be getting our small rocks from here, and then we'll be scooping them up and putting them in this little half cut bottle thingy that we found in the trees. So they're about like that size and there's a bit of mud and stuff in them but it doesn't really matter. So the rocks here are bigger than from over there so we are just going to scoop these up and put it in this old red bucket we found outside. Okay so we've got our large rocks our smaller rocks and our fine sand over there and we've got our bottle cut in half and now what you're going to need is a piece of fabric we've got this like bright pink piece that we found inside um the piece only has to be small but um you're probably not going to find like a sheet of fabric outside 
but um, in like extreme situations, you can rip a piece off like the edge of your t-shirt. And yeah, and you're also going to need a rubber band. So nine chances out of 10, you're not gonna find a rubber band outside. And um, yeah, so, but you can use another piece of like fabric from your shirt or pants or whatever. Or if you find like a little piece of rope, which you probably will find, then that will work too. So what you're gonna do is take the cloth and put it around the lid of the bottle. Make sure there's even like extra pieces on each side and you want to secure it on with the rubber band or um, rope. It's much easier with like a stretchy like elastic rubber band or if you have like a hair elastic then that works too. And this might take a little while to get the elastic band on but it shouldn't be too too hard. You just want to make sure that you have the entire thing covered just like this here. And make sure it's pretty tight. So now that it's completely secured, like this, you can look in the inside and see that it has fabric all the way around. What you're going to want to do is put it fabric side into the container and just lay it lightly on top like that. You don't need to shove it all the way down in because you don't want this part here to touch the bottom of the container. So just lay it on lightly like that and that's it. So yeah, you're just putting in lightly like that. So now you have this prepared, you are ready to start adding your materials. So to start off, you're going to get your fine sand and put in a tiny bit less than one third into the top of your bottle. Just like that. So you can see that that is, um... I'm probably going to add a little tiny bit more to that. Yeah. Just like that, that's perfect. Ooh, the light's kind of glaring a bit. There we go. Yep, that's my third. Alright, so now you are going to want to get your um, coarse sand, or in our case, our fine gravel, because we didn't have any coarse sand. And this layer doesn't have to be that big. It still needs to be fairly large, but not as large as the last one. Finally, you're going to want to add the large rocks or gravel, but make sure you leave a little tiny bit of room at the top so the water so you can pour your water. And now your filter is done. All you need left now is to put some water in it. You can uh, see the layers are pretty much equal, except for the bottom ones. A tiny, tiny, it looks tiny but bigger. But since the bottle tapers, they are all pretty much equal. So yeah, we're gonna go get some really, really, really dirty water now from a bog that's right behind our house, and you guys can see how this filter holds up. Alright, as you can see now, we are in our bog behind our house. So Sophie here is going to scoop up some of this extremely gross looking water. Just like this. And as you can see, it's really dirty and filled with mud, and um, let's just say I wouldn't really want to drink that. So this is what we're working with. It's completely brown with like little dirt particles and everything. So this is really, really, really dirty. So obviously with our filter, you're not gonna expect that it's gonna come out crystal clear, but it'll um, it'll clean it a lot and it will definitely not look like <laughs> this afterwards. Okay, so we've moved from over there to over here on this flat well cover because we don't want to spill this everywhere because that wouldn't be good. <laughs> So yeah, well, now we're going to see how this filter uh, stands up. So a good thing to do is pour in a bit at a time and then let it soak through. So I'm going to shock this. I'm gonna shock you can see this. it's coming down at the bottom. And if you want, what you can do is you can take the bottom part of this and pour it back into your container and fill it up again. Yeah, so you, I would probably recommend putting this through the system twice at least and then boiling it. Because you can see, well, it's that color compared to that color, so this filter does work. I mean, obviously, it's not possible to eliminate all the dirt from it, but this filter is doing a pretty good job. Put in a bit more. 
and like we said, don't put it in all at once, or else you're gonna like overload the filter and it's not gonna be able to do its job as well. Mm. And if it's too heavy and it starts to get underneath, like the um, uh, in the in the water starts to rise above the cloth, what you can do is you can take it and hold it and bit. kind of hold it up a bit, just like this, and just let some of the water drip out before you put it back down. So I'm gonna add the rest of this into the top. And that water is gross. And then you can see what it, you can see like a comparison here of it coming out the bottom. It's like a really even like um like amount on each side right now. It's honestly I still wouldn't want to drink that, but if you pass it through the filter a few more times, then it becomes a lot more clear. And then you boil it and you're pretty much safe. So I'm gonna lift it up here just so um a lot more of the water can drip out. And just to let you guys know, if you use this filter like two or three or four or whatever times, then um, the you might want to change out the gravel and sand and stuff, because after a while it's going to start to absorb all the bacteria and stuff, and then it might get added to the other water. And also the cloth down there will probably get uh, worn out after a little while, so you just want to make sure that you change it every like five or six times you use it. So this is the water after just passing it through the filter once. It's obviously not perfectly clean, but it's still like a lot cleaner than that dark brown from before. And if you pass this through a few more times, then it should become even more clear, then you can boil it and it's safe. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, um, please remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, so I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>